there are there are many people who teach about these end times it, they have different different methods they have different different teachings so how do we know which one is right and what is the right thing what is the right teaching okay uh, the only way to know that is to go through the bible then when i say that uh, one may ask that uh, okay everyone is a teaching from the bible yes true one main uh, uh, factor that we need to understand is that when we teach the word the bible we cannot take verses out of context and create a doctrine we need to stick to the doctrine of the bible the theology and also we must not take anything out of context to explain something that is heresy okay so every time whenever we teach the bible whenever we teach any subject for that matter not only about end times but sorry, anything we take the verse in context which means that the the bible was not written with numbers when they wrote the bible when the, when when yeah. when uh, uh, paul and peter when they wrote their epistles they didn't put numbers it's just that they wrote a letter to the church so you need to understand the whole letter read the whole letter to understand what it says what he was trying to say so we number it for our study exact uh, for references for, yeah. for for our easy references we number it it's okay to number it but, but taking something out of context is demonic okay. why i say that devil did that and he does that even now when he tempted jesus when he came to jesus and tempted him he quoted from the word but out of context yeah. so devil always takes the word out of context to explain something that he wants to or, or, or put across a point that he wants to put across so uh, we must be very careful when we uh, teach the word or understand or study the word to not to take anything out of context but to stick to the context of the 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 scripture that we are referring to and also to uh, stick to the doctrine of the bible so this is where people twist the word exactly so do they twist it to have their own benefits or definitely yes okay. we 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 see that we see that uh, very very often and also jesus warned us chatura jesus mm-hmm. warned us in the last days there will be false teachers and the bible the new testament the disciples or the apostles warned us of these people and 1 john chapter 4 verse 1 john says do not believe every spirit but test test is a believer do not believe every spirit but test the spirits whether they are of god because many false prophets have gone in to, out into the world it is more now than then <laughs> right uh, john says uh, test every spirit so we must test every spirit is a spirit in the sense the spirit that is talking now say he, he didn't say people no he, he, he uh, john didn't say test the man he said test the spirit why you see this is very significant there you see when we teach a spiritual thing a spirit controls you right if you are teaching from the word of god and if you are under the control of the holy spirit it is the spirit who teaches basically we are only vessels yeah okay it is the holy spirit same way if you are taking the word out of context and twist the word as you say that means it is not the holy spirit that is teaching it is some other spirit controlling that person that's why john says do not believe every spirit without saying every man every teacher every prophet or anything he says spirit test the spirit because it is the spirit that controls the spirit flows right if someone is under a demonic influence that influence can flow to the congregation or to the person who's receiving it right so you must know 
to whom you submit to like you know if, if you are submitting to someone you must know that person spirit so you mean now you sw- sorry i disturb i'm disturbing you here now you said about demonic spirits uh, dealing with the word yeah so you mean to say satan also knows the bible ah oh, better than all of us okay <laughs> Mm-hmm. <laughs> that's why he came to jesus with the verse words the word in a sense he said jump from this you know top of the temple and the word says your foot will not be uh, harmed it's there in the the word but jesus says word also says that you must not test your god your lord right so uh, the devil knows the bible he he knows the word very well so he and knows the, also how to twist it how to the, twist it how to twist it he's a ma- ma- master twister master. i mean <laughs> the word <laughs> right and, and these end times we we spoke about these end times recently uh recently i was uh, t- told by someone that there is a, a teaching on the end times or the end times so when when i hear somebody teaching end times i get excited because i have been teaching end times for the last 10 15 years and uh, in in fact those days people laughed at me mocked me you know all this you know this is fool is talking now they are they, they, they themselves are teaching in times right anyway so i i listen to this segment supposed to be end times teaching now why is it supposed to be because after i listen to it i i totally uh, okay. rejected, rejected it, it. Okay. at this teaching we can play the tape if you want to to, to hear the voice to pr- uh, as yeah. proof that i heard it right okay it's better to play it i feel okay yeah right quote money and the mark of the beast can you imagine life without money that's where the world is going where when you go to the shop you don't spend money to buy something you give your right hand or your forehead you haven't seen anything yet this coronavirus is a small thing compared to real tribulation because the bible says this world does not belong to god second corinthians 4 and 4 says the god of this world satan if you miss the rapture you may not be able to buy or sell without the mark of the beast which is called the mark on the forehead or the mark on the right hand when covid struck the earth where were they holding the thermometer forehead they hold it on the forehead it's not accidental then there was a video going around It's not good to put it on the forehead. Where did they choose? The wrist. The same thing you see today after the church is raptured. There will come a system in the financial world you cannot buy or sell without the mark. That means money is leaving. Money is going out. The world is headed in the direction of a cashless society. No more notes. No more coins. Nothing. You scan it and what your network will appear on the screen. the world is heading there we don't know when revelation 13 16 and 17 therefore it's important for you to know what you should do with your money you either will have to take the mark and renounce jesus and miss eternity or you have to have something called sustenance farming the church will have to have its own economy that is separate from the mark of the beast end quote so you know where uh, this person says mark of the beast is coming which is right and corona virus is only a simple thing and you know, a example but it will be a greater uh, deception that is coming and when the mark of the beast comes you will not be able to buy or sell anything without the mark which is also correct in the bible right then he goes <laughs> to the worst part right he says therefore when the mark of the beast comes your fixed deposit and what is in your bank will lose value and therefore you will not be able to buy or sell anything without the mark therefore we must have a banking system in the church because if you miss the rapture this is our own words no if you miss the rapture then you will be able to buy and sell in the church I mean are you planning to miss the rapture or are you teaching people are you directing people to miss the rapture or you want to have banking system in the church where you enjoy earth your focus for, for I mean enter focus is on the earth not in heaven not on heaven right this is heresy 
this is heresy this is demonic this is straight from the devil because you know why jesus said this person and there are so many in the world today the false teachers in the world i'm not talking about only in sri lanka there are so many out there in the world they they are mainly focusing on money right? they are, money they are in money business money business right this is a business for them and they encourage people or they they are not encourage in a sense they push people to become rich they say being rich is the best thing being rich in the world right worldly sense right worldly sense uh, uh, having money and millions in your account and doing a big business and all mm-hmm. that is is what god wants you to have totally totally wrong and heresy why i'll i'll show it from the bible word of god i mean i i can say things but he can say but what is ultimately the the the, the de- decider is the word of god right jesus himself said these things i'm quoting jesus uh, in mark chapter 10 17 onwards now as he was going out on the road one one came running knelt before him and asked him good teacher what shall i do that i may inherit the eternal life jesus said why do you call me good no one is good but one that that is god okay then he says you know the commandments do the commandments verse 19 he says the commandments then verse 20 he says he answered and said to him teacher all these things i have kept from my youth then jesus looking at him loved him right and said to him one thing you lack go your way listen to this ah huh? one thing you lack go your way sell what do you have now when you say sell modern days what people tell is sell what you have and bring it to church but jesus didn't say that jesus did not say that read the verse verse 21 go your way sell what you have give it to the poor and you will have treasure in heaven and come take up the cross and follow me that's what jesus said sell what you have yes okay that most people will like it most people most of these prosperity teachers will like that word sell what okay. you have that's what these people also say in time sell what you have and give it to the church no sell what you have give it to the poor and you will have riches in heaven right and he says look what happened to him but he was sad at this word and went away sorrowful for he had great possessions he was rich he was a rich man jesus said sell what you have give it to the poor and come and follow me take up your cross and follow me taking up the cross means dying to self right and follow me but he was sad because he was rich then jesus turned to his disciples then jesus looked around and said to his disciples this is very 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 important how hard it is for those who have riches to enter the kingdom of god jesus said if you have riches in this world it is very difficult to enter into the kingdom of god and these teachers these false teachers these false prosperity teachers deceive the people in the church using god's word and encouraging and telling them to become rich and jesus says if you are rich it's hard for you to enter into the kingdom right and he says disciples were shocked at this and said children how hard it is for those who trust in riches to enter into the kingdom of god it is easier for a camel to go through eye of a needle than for a rich man to enter into the kingdom of god and i don't stop there let me let me quote some more because i i have so many things to say about this right uh uh uh, uh first timothy chapter 6 paul writes to timothy this is new covenant right this is after new covenant says ch- ch- church is established yes, right he says uh read 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 from the verse 1 I, I, i'm i'm quoting from first timothy chapter 6 right read the whole chapter if you want but just just let me quote this um uh 
was for he is proud knowing nothing but is obsessed with disputes and arguments over words from which comes envy strife and reviling evil suspicion useless wranglings of men of corrupt minds and destitute of truth who suppose that godliness is a means of gain from such withdraw yourself now godliness with contentment is great gain for we brought nothing into this world and it is certain we can carry nothing out he's talking about proposition here right and having food and clothing with these we shall be content right but those listen to this one this is the key verse verse 9 but those who desire to be rich now these these prosperity teachers these teachers put desire into the people's minds to become rich yeah so that they can be rich in return exactly yeah. and this is what he says but those who desire to be rich fall into temptation and and a snare and into many foolish and harmful lusts which drown men in the destruction and perdition this is what the bible says about riches i am not against having possessions just to go through because we are not in this world to live here forever no this is only a temporary place for us right and and these teachers what they do is they put the desire into the people to become rich and that's flesh that's flesh and devil controls the flesh and once that desire comes in to you to become rich and you see some others in the church who are rich and then they are happy you you want to become like one of them and you sell all you have and these preachers say sell all you have don't give it to the poor give it to me and they 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 buy jets and other countries they buy massive mansions and in sri lanka they have big vehicles and you know show off uh, i mean big things yeah with all poor with the money people, of those yeah. people okay. right and they become rich of course yes they become rich people who steal money from these people and 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 uh, the poor people who give they don't get anything i i i have some believers in my church who have gone away for a little while after this prosperity uh you know uh i i don't know what to call them prosperity uh, teachers let's say <laughs> i don't call them teachers cheaters right? cheaters <laughs> oh that's a good word <laughs> cheaters and come back again okay. to see that they have lost everything lost land lost possessions money given all that 